Get ready to match the stars from our magazine, Gary Collins, Brett Summers, Charles Selson Riley, from It Is Enough, Susan Richardson, Richard Paul, and from Flo, Joyce Dillapont, as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game PM. And now, here's the star of Match Game PM, Gene Raven. Thank you for joining us here on Match Day, PM. How do you do, all? How do you do? Hi, darling. Stars are beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful stars? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're wonderful looking. Now, let's treat Ellen Shepard and Ron Finger down. Applause, applause, applause. Applause, applause, applause. Applause, applause. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. We want to demonstrate to you that we're very friendly and not hostile. So, I'm going to kiss you both on the lips. Want to find out about you, Ron? Tell us who you are and where you're from. Well, I'm from just north of Boston. I'm a firefighter. I've been for 20 years. I have uh, been married for 25 years. We've been traveling this beautiful state for our anniversary. Really? Happy 25th anniversary to you, Ron. Is your wife here? Yes, she's right there. Hello there. There she is. Very young looking chick you got for the 25 years there. Isn't she pretty? There. There she is, right there in the first row. Grandmother, too. A grandmother? Hmm. You gotta put a little gray in your hair to convince me, my dear. <laughs> All right, that's Ron. How about Ellen? I'm married. I have a little girl. I live in Lodi, which is the great capital of the world. Um, I like to plant things and, and uh, I babysit for a living. <laughs> sort of a living. <laughs> and uh, I'm happy to be here. Now, here on Match Game PM, you'll each have three opportunities to match as many of the dingbats as you possibly can. <laughs> And the one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner and go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $20,000. How about that? A or B, Ron? I'll take A, please. A. Ron says he wants A, and this is what it says. Lenny said, You know you're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in a blank. Lenny said, you know you're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in a blink. An armored truck. An armored truck. That's okay. Now, he thought that through very carefully. He sure did. Armored truck is good. You know, I thought of a hearse, but then it occurred to me that she couldn't be all that bad, so I said armored car. Aha! Uh -huh. riding a bicycle wearing a bulletproof vest. Uh -huh. Very cute. All right, two goodies so far. It's a very personal remark. <laughs> now, I don't want an argument. This is a match. Don't argue with them. Don't argue I'm with them. sorry. Him. All right? So close. An armored truck. <laughs> Keep it around. Unusual to get that many in the first round. You're living in a bad neighborhood when the welcome wagon lady arrives in A. Well, I matched Gary, though, instead of Hearst. A well, I said Hearst, but... Instead of Hearst, and she asked me how to spell it, and I changed the T to an E because I'm a nice fellow. <laughs> Hello, Richard. We'll be the judge of that. She should have said, thank you, Gene, for doing that. Thank you. But it wouldn't help Tank Ron is an excellent answer. No. Tank. Yeah. Tank. Armored car, tank are both tank. good. Yes. You're going to be so surprised. <laughs> I got it right. Oh, no. oh. Wait a minute. One in a row. Now, we ought to frame that. Do something. We ought to have some kind of celebration. <laughs> Ready, Ellen? Yes. Here it is. Ruth said, Ruth said, it's strange being married to a ship's captain. How strange is it? Captain? I'll tell you how strange it is. Because every time we get romantic, he yells, blank! <laughs> Bruce said, it's strange being married to a ship's captain. Every time we get romantic, he yells, blank! Ahoy! Ahoy? Ahoy? Ahoy. Ellen, why would he yell ahoy? I, I don't why know. Why not? Why not? <laughs> well, I guess we know what she's got. <laughs> Ellen, the implication there is that maybe he needs a little help or something. I don't know. What do you say, Gary? Call me Ishmael. No. Ishmael. That's oh. right. Man overboard. Man overboard. 
anything that a captain would yell. Ahoy is just as good as Ahoy anything. Ahoy is fabulous. What the heck? I mean, after all, in a moment of passion, you're after your eyes. The things I could tell you were like, oh, yeah. I, you have had those moments. You do no, remember I them. To them. Yeah. I go, oh, well, not anymore. A full steam ahead. Aha! To go full steam ahead, you have to have a full head of steam. <laughs> you ought to know. All right. <laughs> and Fino is never going to be the same, I'll tell you that. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> Why did you call me? I called you Chuck. Oh, as a captain myself of a wonderful ship, there's not that many things a captain yells. Do you understand know what I mean? You get the impression that a captain runs around yelling. There are people that do that. He does indeed have a I vessel. Am... <laughs> I chose all ashore that's going ashore. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the picture, you see the couple are in the bedroom, in the boudoir, let's say. Soft music is playing on the stereo. <laughs> and she has on this beautiful see-through peignoir. You'll be sorry you opened this whole thing. He walks into the room. Could have walked down by there. Takes a look at her and says, all ashore, going ashore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Susan. Shark. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right, Richard. Being an old Charles Lawton fan, yes. I said that he yells, Mr. Pishter! <laughs> oh, a goody. Yes, ma'am. It's all romantic, and the stereo's playing, and the lights are low, and he yells, Welcome aboard. <laughs> <laughs> I get the picture. So here we are, three to zip. And uh, that's the end of round one. Now, round two will come along in a moment or so. Right now, this for you, if you please. All right, here we go to round two. Round two coming up. And, Ron, since you're ahead, we will ask you to go first. I'll take A again, please. A again. Now, only three people play, you know, because you match Gary, Charles, and Joyce. And Joyce in the Joyce. first round. Don't forget that. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Whipple is getting really tough. No. Get the other bunch, John. Hey, he's getting really tough. Now, if you squeeze his Charmin, he squeezes your blank. <laughs> Aren't you sorry you're not playing? I'm playing. Can we just play along? Yes, play along. Just... Right in the end for me. <laughs> Here we go, Ron. Mr. Whipple is getting really tough. Now, if you squeeze his Charmin, he squeezes your blank. Boobs. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> really? What did he say to that? He said boobs. He said boobs? He said that. Well, we stick greetings. <laughs> I didn't know that about Mr. Whipple. <laughs> no. He's changed, apparently. Easter greetings, Easter cheer. Squeeze a boob once a year. No, I said buns. Buns. <laughs> You squeeze my Charmin, I squeeze your buns. What do you say, Susan? Well, I have to explain this, because my whole career started from a toilet paper commercial. It was a competitor that had Kush, and I got the job because I walked in and said that I have Tush. <laughs> and they bought it. <laughs> so I... Said Tush. Yeah. All right. Buns. Same right, day. exactly. Right. We have two of those so far, um, or four, depending on how you count. What do you say? Godfrey Daniel. I squeeze the Charmin, he squeezed my nose. Naturally. All right. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Now, Ellen, you've got a little catching up to do. Let's see how you do with this one. Neil said, I was born in a shoe store. For years, people called me a blank. <laughs> Don't stare at me. You can hardly wait to get to it. Ellen, Neil said, I was born in a shoe store. For years, people called me a blank. Heel. Heel it is. Very good. Heel. Heel, yeah, good answer, isn't yeah. it? Isn't it. she good? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's two in a row she's given us. What very, you... very close with the whole shoe. A loafer. A loafer. Oh, oh that's nice. nice play on words. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, Gary. Yes. I wish to stay up front. I did not steal his answer. I wish to say I thought the same way. And I, this is absolutely my own, very own answer. But I, too, in a fit of whimsy, said loafer. Sure you did. I did. I always did. Sure, loafer. you didn't steal the answer. <laughs> you see, a heel and loafer's okay, but Neil was a little like I am, like delicate and rather on the dainty side, despite yeah. the fact that I am yeah. Yeah. Like, my own like, I do? Yeah. So he was called a wedgie for years. <laughs> Born in a shoe store for years, people call me a wedgie. A heel. Yeah. A heel. There you go. Richard, where are you? <laughs> a tennis shoe? 
A sneaker. A I'm so ashamed of that answer. I don't want to be seen while this card is up. That's funny. No, Gary says that. you're a sneaker. Yeah. That's why you're down there. Oh. Yeah. What have you got for us, Joyce? I love to answer the bells. I said a heel. Wow. All right. <laughs> All right, we've got a little game going here. Three to the floor. We'll go to round three. This is the final round. Round your head. You go first one more time. I'll stick with A again, please. A it is. Same three people play. Brett, Susan, and Richard. Carla said, this drought is really terrible. Who asked you? <laughs> Today I saw a salmon blanking upstream. <laughs> drought. Here we go. Right. Carla said this drought is really terrible today. I saw a salmon blanking upstream. Walking. Walking. All right. Ron the fireman from Massachusetts said walking. What do you say? I'm oh, look at those glasses. Yes. Uh, Don't change the subject. <laughs> yeah. Well, I decided this time, why not? Strolling or walking? Good. Strolling or walking? I need you to Ron. You're up the floor now, Ron. Need Susan and Richard to make it a perfect score for you. What have you got for a well, whole round there? It's the same idea, but this is more popular, so I... Jogging. Jogging. Aww. It's different from walking, of course. Sorry. <laughs> Not when I do it. <clears throat> Richard? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 would, I would have said walking, but I didn't think they had legs, so I said they were crawling up. Crawling up, too. Thank yeah. you. Thank I you. knew I could appeal to your sympathy. I might All get right. a hand. Now, Ryan, you're up to four. Ellen, that well, means you need you? two to tie, three to win. Okay. Tom said... Nobody cares about me. Today, today, this very day, my twin brother forgot my blank. <laughs> this tear plays in this person. That's a sad story. Today, my twin brother forgot my blank. Nobody cares about me. Today, my twin brother forgot my blank. Crim chop. Bum, 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 bum. We didn't request three chapters of War and Peace. We just want a simple response. Well, you're dressed for it. <laughs> Dignity. This is John White's best. Here we go, Ellen. Tom said, nobody cares about me. Today, my twin brother forgot my blank. Birthday. Birthday. <laughs> All right. I had two answers in my mind. That was one. So did I, and I happened to get the other one. Oh, you did? I mean, nothing tackier than forgetting his name. Name, yeah. Name oh. or birthday are yeah. the two good yeah. responses there. There could be some others. I can't think of any. What have you got? You kidding, baby? I'm hot tonight. Birthday. Birthday it is. Four to three to score. I didn't have a governess or private school, so I said birthday. Oh, yeah. Birthday. <laughs> the score is now tied four to four. Ellen? If you match Richard, you will win the game. If you don't, it ends in a tie. We've got to go to a tiebreaker. Go, Richard. Uh, well, the name of this show is Match Game, right? Right. So you're supposed to match them, aren't you? Right. Birthday! <laughs> okay. Come on down, Ellen. Right there in the bottom of the please. Ron, it was a pleasure to meet you. Good luck to you. We're going to send a lot of stuff your way from Matt Games. You have to sit down now. We're going to move this thing around here. I don't want you to fall down. So long. Let's take a bite of Ron Prendergast. A good fellow. We'll spin him off and spin a message for you. Hurry back. <laughs> here we go. She is going to have a go at the really big money now. She could win over $20,000. Wow. We're going to have two audience matches for you. Remember, whatever you win in the audience match will be multiplied by 10. We pulled a studio audience and said, write down your best answer to this. You gotta have blank. 500 for matching the most popular, 250 for the second, and 100 for the third. And three of the six stars can help you. Choose on the, uh, the stars who have a glimmer of intelligence in their eyes. Don't call on the dummies, all right? Brett, you gotta have heart. One. Gary? Gotta have hope. Gotta have hope. There's only one. Now, who's looking at you? Who's trying to get your attention? Who's making eyeball contact? Susan? Susan. I wasn't. Oh, you weren't. Yeah, See, we all had the same one. You gotta have soul. All right, you gotta have soul, you gotta have heart, you gotta have hope. You want one of those? Money. One of your own. Heart, that's what I thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Let's see if heart is under the $100 response. Oh. Slide it. 
You gotta have love. Well, that's a nice thought. Let's take a look at the next one, please. This battle. You gotta have class. Didn't occur to this battle either. No, no love, no class. No love and no class. All right, Richard. Good. <laughs> All right, let's see. We got a little heart on top. Yeah. You got five hundred dollars now, and that means at least you'll. Uh, oh, excuse me. That means at least. Oh, just happy. Happy show. At least you'll play for us ten times that amount, or five thousand dollars. But we have one more audience match, and this is it. Blank mobile. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Who? Brent. Automobile. Gary. Oldsmobile. Old. You're in the toilet. Snowmobile. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh. So there you have snowmobile, automobile, and Oldsmobile. You want one of those? Oh, jeez. Uh, automobile. Yeah. Automobile? All right. Do we have an automobile? I don't know. $100 response. Yeah. Batmobile. Yeah. Oh, very Batmobile. Adorable. Golly like gee, Robin. <laughs> Batmobile. May we look at the next one, please? Snowmobile. All right, that's the one that Joyce gave you. We're looking for automobile. Let's find out if it's under the five hundred dollar number. Give us got a high. Yes, it is. Very good. Take that one. Another five hundred for you. Another uh, five thousand added to your previous potential gives you a pot of ten thousand dollars to shoot for. However, if you step up there and spin that wheel and get lucky, and it stops on a star, you will play for twenty thousand dollars. Good luck to you. Go up there and have a go at it, and we'll all root for a double and hope it happens for her. Here we go. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Jump on the thing. I'll light a match. Won't work. Too bad. Well, all right, you got $10,000 you're going for with Charles Nelson Riley, and good luck to you, and this is it. Marilyn Blank. All right. No help from the studio audience. I just want you to take a look at it, make sure that we all understand what I'm saying. All right? All right, Charles. You're on your own. Now, if you give us the answer that Charles has written on the card, we give you... Ten thousand dollars. What do you say to that? Marilyn Monroe. Well, apparently the audience thinks you're right. According to their reaction, we'll find I'm, out right now what we went, I, What's going on now? It's the elections. Right. So I went a whole political route. I'm sorry. I said President Monroe's great granddaughter. <laughs> Congratulations, Ellen Shepard. Eleven thousand dollars. Join us next week for Match Game PM. Team Ready to Thank you all. Bye bye. You got a minute? Because all it takes is sixty seconds, and you can win cash prizes and oodles of oodles just by playing Bingo Blitz. Here's how: first, go to gsn.com/bingo-blitz. Then, pick your bingo number. Then, for winning numbers every day, watch Bingo Blitz weeknights at seven during Deal or No Deal. It's that easy. Bingo Blitz on GSN. Fun in sixty seconds. Bingo Blitz tonight. Only on GSN. See you then.